Great, welcome. It's been a little while, holiday season and all, but I think I can slip a few videos in. Um, continuing Saga, Battles in the East, Decision Games, Vagration Stop Scenario. <clears throat> and we are going to be starting going over the German Turn 5, halfway through at this, <coughs> at this point. And uh, this is a German supply portion of the turn. Yeah, reinforcement supply. And let's see, did they get a reinforcement? Yeah, they got these guys way down here. <clears throat> 25th Panzer shows up, or at least two regiments of 25th Panzer, giving them a total of <clears throat> Hermann Goring and 19th Panzer, pretty much three Panzer divisions on the board. So just looking at uh, <clears throat> German supply here, um, again, 4th SS is still stuck. Don't know if... Uh, Really, they're ever going to get rescued because <clears throat> 70th Army's goal here from the Soviets is just to reduce and destroy the rest of 4th SS. <clears throat> Up here, we see 2nd Tank Army has pushed itself well across the river, grabbed a victory point, potentially threatening <clears throat> um, victory points up here. If we go to the south, um, yeah, Russians are really, this is slow going. And I don't anticipate them. This would be an instant victory if they took this, but uh, I don't see that happening. I don't see that. The poles were mauled early, and uh, these units, they're pretty much all infantry. Grinding through. Right now, only two Soviet armies have attack supply. The 70th that just came on board, and the second tank. And the second tank is uh, running out of steam, to be honest, looking at the strength of these units and the area they're covering but now this is a concern because these guys i don't know attack supply for these guys and they've got at least a <coughs> tank division each potentially who knows could they sweep this way and pick up some vps we'll see and get across the uh the nara that's the goal here so with that said, I think, uh, yeah, German supply, it's just 4th SS stays out of supply. And then, unfortunately for them, these scattering of units up here. I think these guys are part of 2nd uh, Army. They're still, it's folks grenadier, they're just way too slow. And the Russians, I think, have kind of caught them between these three armies up here, even in general supply. So they've trapped them. Well, we'll see what the Germans can do here. So, that's uh, kind of a brief on what's going on initially on the turn, and uh, German supply, and uh, let's go ahead and see how the Germans move. Be right back. All right, um, following German tactics, they never really stayed on the defensive, at least during most of the war. They always just kept counterattacking, and uh, that's what you're going to see up here with two panzer divisions here in a second. But coming down here, um, basically solidified their lines. <clears throat> no attacks this time. The Poles aren't going to be doing much of anything at this point. Uh, they've only got two full strength divisions left. Um, and then these two armies, I guess, uh, keep slogging away. Not sure if Soviets might have to make a decision next turn whether to put either of them in attack supply. Um, and if that'll help, because it uh, looks like the Germans have even got the ability to pull a brigade off in reserve. So we'll see what happens um, if the Russians can, Soviets can make any progress here. 25th Panzer hop the road and is driving up here. Um, luckily, this guy's under 39th Panzer. That's good. So he's under his command. Let me take a look at offensive display here. Just something to be concerned about. Yeah, 4th SS goes out of attack supply. Well, to be honest, they've never been in attack supply. They've been cut off. But next turn is the last turn, 39th Panzer is in attack supply, and then 39th Panzer leaves HQ. And these guys get reassigned, <coughs> probably to Modell and 9th Army. That's all we got up here now. Yeah, that's all the Germans have left, 2nd and 9th Army. So, well, they, they got one more turn. They got one more turn. So... What do we see as we move up here? Screening this part of the river still uh, outside of Warsaw. Uh, Warsaw divisions, they did move forward earlier. I think earlier. 
no, this turn. They came out of Warsaw to uh, man the defenses, uh, mainly because we got some reinforcements coming this way. So looks like solid defenses through here. The zones of controls prevent crossing. Uh, they could attack here, but as long as they've got this rear here covered, they're okay. Um, and then this guy, of course, is there as a reserve. Again, if the Soviets take all of these X's, they get a win. And if they take this, they get an instant win, but none of that looks likely. Uh, the Panzers have concentrated, and they are going to pummel these guys. Um, we'll see it in the combat phase, but I went back and forth trying to split attack here and here, but they probably end up just retreating, so going to go for the maximum odds on this guy. And if you look at uh, 10 to 1, it's a 50-50 chance to get an eliminated, which is what the Germans are hoping for. Because if they get an eliminated, then they'll be sitting, advancing. They'll be right here. And uh, mech move, they can uh, do some damage here. Do some damage. So that's a concentrated attack here. Screening up here. And this one is just, please hold on until we get reinforcements. Um, yeah, this guy got trapped, so he's stuck. And this guy got trapped by uh, enemy zone of control. But they were able to scrape up enough units to at least screen this area. And uh, it doesn't look like the Russians are get too far behind them. So, I don't know, can they hold that off long enough? And I think uh, the Panzer's goals are to pretty much take second army out of action and then uh, then the panzers can shift up here if they need to they're pretty potent when concentrated these are pretty potent with the DCI shift and the strength um, it will be a shame though to lose the uh, 2R for 39th panzer there so let's see how the 50-50 roll goes with this one we're gonna stop here and come back with the combat results all right, we're back, and as you can see, I put it down here. It was a 10 to 1 on a 5, which is an eliminated. So both those units <coughs> are in the dead pile, which uh, looks like finally the Russians are getting losses. Well, they're starting to lose units too, <coughs> as opposed to just the Germans here. So we, we do have, let's see if I can get a count here. Yeah, there's a bunch of units here. Oh, well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Germans still have, I mean, if we're just counting raw units, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, Germans have taken more losses. Would have been nice to have had the fourth SS Panzer be able to do something, but uh, wow, look at that. Five, four, eight. Gales and R, two R on fourth SS. Totally ineffective since the beginning, but. They got their breakthrough. This was where they were, and uh, just basically loaded up max stacking here. Four regiments and a battalion, that's 4.5. Um, and then the other two units here. And now it's just a matter of, uh, well, we got the road here. We can go that way. We can even get all the way to here. So it's just a matter of deciding what to do. So let's see what two Panzer divisions with a third on the way can do. All right, we'll be right back with the German mech move and the end of their turn. All right, since all the action is in this area of the board, I thought I'd zoom it in a little. And yes, the Germans have expanded. Um, well, here's 25, 25th Panzer came on the board this turn as a reinforcement. All on the road and they stop right here. So they're kind of holding these guys in place, but they're in a good position to do something next turn. Um, I don't know if I'm taking a risk here, but, uh, well, first thing you can notice is, again, for the second time in the game, second tank army, HQ is surrounded out of supply. Nobody was in a position to pull off an overrun, not enough MPs because of uh, movement points, because of these minor rivers slowing them down, but uh, there we go. Let's see what I got here. So 25th is here. Got Hermann Goring in 19th. Ah, that's not good. I kind of split. But that's okay. I may not need the DCI here. But uh, here's some more action here. Uh, the Tigers moved up here. 
just to get a Zock here, Zock here. So this guy's pinned. Yep, that's what I wanted, or the Germans wanted. Um, and they do see they run all the way up somebody to here to the victory point. But the bigger problem right now, starting next turn, all of second tank army is out of supply. Even this guy. But it's easy to establish again, although, I don't know. Um, and then these guys are strategically here to put Zox on Major River, prevent these guys from withdrawing across the river. Um, this guy could move from here to here. Yeah, he's in those Zox. So this guy potentially is in. He could move here. This guy could move down and move here. I'd have to calculate the movement points because it's rounded up. It's a four. But we'll fight that on the Russian turn. Um, this guy's trapped. And uh, these guys, they're kind of trapped too. So the uh, remaining part of the second tank spearhead here just got trapped on the wrong side of the river. We'll see if that holds or if the Russians can swat it back. Um, but they're going to think long and hard about it. They're only one, only one of the armies besides 70th, which is too far away, and 2nd Tank, which now is out of supply, um, potentially is out of attack supply. And then uh, these infantry units that kind of concentrated Hermann Goring, you know, there's always the last chance to come over here and try and rescue them. Um, don't know if that's worth it. Because in the end, the game boils down to victory points. Most probably, if we've uh, dealt with this threat, uh, this becomes a remaining threat up here. But it all depends on what the Russians decide is their attack supply. So to close it out, let's take one last look at this. Um, so actually only two more armies can be in attack supply for the rest of the game. Two more armies because they'll pick one this turn. No, that's not true. Pick one this turn. No, they can do it. Okay. it's This is how long they'll be in supply. So... One, two, three, four, five. If I turn five, they can have five, but then some will drop out of attack supply. 70th, I think, will only be used for reducing the 4th SS pocket. Second tank, oh, boy, they're getting mauled. So, um, yeah, one, two, three. So they can activate everybody. One, two, three, four, five. Especially these guys and these guys and these guys. And this becomes mainly an infantry battle then with three tank units because their second tank as Beerhead has been mauled here. All right, well, that's the end of the German turn. Um, and yes, the Germans struck back again. Um, this time they've got three panzer divisions or elements of three panzer divisions concentrated right here. Um, and then we'll see what happens to these guys too. And the Soviet big choice now is what army will be in attack supply again. So go ahead and end it here. Thanks for listening. Comments appreciated. If you like, click like. Hope to get the rest of this up over the next week or two. So we'll see how that goes. Otherwise, hope everybody for who it applies had a happy holidays. And see you at the next one.